Yo, what's going on guys? Fiddlesticks is currently one of the best junglers in the game because of the recent jungle changes. Green and blue jungle item got heavily nerfed. Specifically, green one lost its tenacity. That makes Fiddle, Silence, and Q a lot more consistent because the enemy jungler can no longer reduce it with simply their jungle item. On top of that, jungle gets reduced experience from minions for longer. It ends at the 20 minute mark versus the old 14 minute mark. And on top of that as well, Dark Harvest and Electrocute were nerfed a lot for the late game. M most keystones were nerfed to be fair, but Electrocute and Dark Harvest specifically for AP champions in late game is a lot worse. So Fiddlesticks just goes for first strike. Perfect timing features market cosmic these days with ultimate cheap shot, double AP and armor. They seem to be invading my top side, which is strange because their invade is honestly quite terrible. Fiddle can solo start on Raptors or on blue. It is easier to start blue. You just auto. Drain Smite immediately. Um, kite it over at 450 health to Gromp, drain them both, etc. But uh, in this case, it's just one of those things. I think they might already be there, so I don't want to have to deal with it. So instead, we'll just start on our Raptors. You don't actually want to start on the red buff. We're kind of late to Raptors, so this is going to cost us roughly two seconds. So just subtract that from the clear. All right, we'll pull them over here in a moment. We want to get them well below 200 health. If you do it before 200, you're risking it for the biscuit. We'll pull, get this with EW Smite. No clue why Ash is over here, but she is. We get one auto on the Krug. And it's a little bit different from blue side, of course. And in my opinion, quite a bit easier, but this is just the red side start. With the drain auto and he's basically dead we just need one more oh cool we're gonna get two points in drain clear up through gank top i figured nasus would be pretty easy pull it over with my e you don't see gwen jungle that often it takes a while to scale typically two full items is where she actually becomes super strong pro sticks doesn't need a whole lot of gold to do a whole lot pull it over with e pop the w now remember, we did start our clear roughly two seconds late. So that will be affecting our time quite a bit. Pull this over. We could have smited the blue sooner. That would shave some time off of our clear. That's all right. As long as they're clearing before 310 on fiddle, you're going to be in a good spot to carry. And there it is. I'd count that a 3-8 minus the two seconds from that. Basically a 3-6 if you start on your raptors right when it spawns. Very happy with that. Let's gank this Nasus. You're really shooting to beat 310. So you can get out onto the map before the enemy junglers finish their full clear and get down to gank. Here's the Nasus. He's about to get Crassus. Gonna fear, auto EW. He's gonna flash. Nice, nice, we'll take it. Hmm. I'm actually not sure if he wanted to push or not, so now I feel bad. I On the bright side, I do get a lot of XP from this, which I desperately need. But if he did want to freeze for some reason when he's low health, low mana, sitting on kill goal, then he would be pretty ticked at me. We are getting reduced experience from these minions because it's not the 20 minute mark yet. Feels bad. It was already that way before this patch, to be fair. But uh, they kind of cranked it up. Makes me sad. Go and get it down our little effigy. I gotta back up my guy over here versus going for scuttle. Auto QE. He's dead. I don't have red buff, so I'm not gonna flash to auto him. Pretty solid though. Really well, really, really, really well played by the young. It was a great bait, good sidestep. We're gonna fear it by hitting it with an ability. Scuttle Crab doesn't, can't really see anything. So even if you hit that point blank range with it, E, you can fear it and then Q to do the bonus damage. If you fear anything that you feared within the last, I believe it's like five or six seconds, it takes a bunch of bonus damage. Your fear itself does damage. It just does a lot more if you've already feared that target recently. First back, typically Sork Shoes. If you can't afford Sork Shoes, you're gonna shoot for Lucids. 
So if you full clear a gank, you'll really always have enough of gold for lucids. Always, especially with Futures Market. Now, if you don't have enough gold for Sork Shoes, that's fine. Lucids are great. But if you have the gold for Sork Shoes, just grab the Sork Shoes. Botlane's looking gankable. Ash is pushing out that wave. We don't necessarily want to ping too early. Because I'd say Iron through Diamond, people will do... They'll ruin the gank. They get excited that you're coming. And they poop on the ground, and then you have to clean it up. Now we ping. When we want them to react, now we ping. We fear and the EW. It's a double W. I think I can kill him here. Flash W. Ah, man. He was down to like the 20 health. He got my flash, so. We'll go ahead and drain the whole thing. We're getting some XP out of it, and you might say, well, you're getting reduced XP. Why are you taking from your teammates? Like, why are you sharing it with them? They're getting reduced because of you. I mean, I need level 6. Fiddle level 6 is so important that although you shouldn't really be stealing minion last hits from your teammates or trying to like kill still kills, you really, 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 really need level 6. It's super important. The sooner you hit level 6, you basically get twice as much carry potential because your damage gets off the charts high. Hmm. I think this is warded. I'm going to go bot. This is way easier. Their mid's playing safe. Their top's playing decent enough. You see, I pinged on my way and Nyla's trying to bait it. She didn't need to do that. She just needed to be patient because the enemy bot lane's playing like they're on bath salts trying to eat their flesh. QW. Ooh, that Tarek stun was delicious. I need to help the dragon. Fiddle is a slow dragon taker without full item especially. So you want your teammates there. Your drain does loads of execute damage. Having having it low on health is going to speed this up. Huge. Drag soul is always your win con on Fiddle. He's not a split pusher and he's not really a soloist. All about team fighting and macro. Yeah, Olaf needs to turn on that. He threw his axe way too far away. He needed to short hop through it. And there it is. Oh no, the Nyla DC. We're gonna need her for this gank. I don't even think they awarded Tri Brush, which is crazy. They're power shoving the wave. We'll see where Pike moves to. Okay, so they, they're crashing it. Still don't think they even warded it, which is kind of crazy. All right, here we go. Get the RQ, get the stun, and the E. Oh, I missed my E. <laughs> my E missed. We're not going to talk about that. should have landed. There's typically going to be one enemy lane that just pushes up. Complete sperm mode, only one direction. That's the lane you want to take advantage of. Although NASA should be an easy gank, he's got no dash of speed ups, really no tenacity early on. Just with the way that lane's playing out, it's not the most gankable. Olaf's generally just pushing into him. Cast is playing safe, so it makes bot lane our best gank. Melee supports tend to play like that. As if they can't die to ganks. You, you, you see like the way they're playing. I don't I can't get there in time, so I'm just gonna run top side. By the time I get here, the fight's done. We're 20, 25 seconds out. There's no focus, they're just chasing. They need to turn and kill Pike. Tarek's gonna die now. We're gonna smite that early, do the bonus damage. I'm hesitant to take Harold. I'm not a big fan of Harold on Fiddle. I'm more of a dragon guy. Drags did get nerfed this patch, but the souls got buffed. So if you get all four drags, it's just as good as it used to be. It's just having one or two or three isn't cool. It's a little bit nerfed. If I remember correctly, it was about a 20, 30% nerf on each drag, but then the soul itself got like a 50% buff or a 30% buff, I forget.
Get out of here, Yon. Beat it. Scram. We want to take out our bot lane if possible. It's AoE damage. Then we have E AoE, W AoE. I think Pike's going to come mid. Yeah, I don't know if I showed or not. Oh no, that's bad. Got with the smite W. Tarek stun was beautiful. I could have potentially R'd. It felt a little too chaotic to me, almost like I wasn't going to get a kill, even if I R'd. Hmm. I want to go bot and burn my R. Yon's not doing as much as I thought he'd be able to do against a cast. He can cancel my drain with his Q. That's the issue. Since he can cancel my drain. Oh, he, he may not even know that. Hmm, somebody kill him though. As long as we get the kill, I'll say worth, whatever. I still have R. They did get a, a little shutdown off me, but in theory we get 600 gold there. They only got 450. Finished going for our rocket belt. Olaf is about to get soloed by Nasus. Oh, dude, one auto. Nasus? If he had to live for half a second more, Nasus wins that. We get Rocket Belt through Futures Market, and we're going to run this bot. It's a dash plus a speed up. Magic penetration. If you absolutely refuse to use activatable items or if you have a physical disability, then you should go Night Harvester. Because if, you, if you're not going to use the active, go Night Harvester. If you're going to use the active, Hex Hextech Rocket Belt is infinitely better. Helps you to stay on top with your R. I need to take this bot lane and get first turret gold. Even if it is only one play, I don't care. Is this warded? I wasn't really paying attention, actually. This is tricky, trying to step up on this. I'm going to pop it right over the wall, try to get some extra range, get the Q on the Ash. E rocket belt, walk away, and now we need to herald before 14 minute mark. Skadoosh, we'll take it. Going over walls with the R, you can extend the range massively. You can even go over some of the wildest walls like right here. And uh, right here, if you set yourself up properly. As long as your R goes over 51% of it or more, it's gonna take you over like a flash would. Behaves in the same way, except you have to channel it. I would like drag for sure. We're going to get her with a Q, with an E, with a W. Rocket belt. <sighs> Man. I said we do drag off it. I mean, she's low. Drag is a drag, even if it's nerfed. We need soul. We're going Zani's next. You have to have it for team fights. I'm behind the drag. You can't hook me. You can try, though. I'm dead. Well played to them, I guess. Nyla's about to pop off, though. Nyla doing Nyla things. Full stat conquer. Plus, she's kind of fed. Beautiful Tark stun. And Glacial Ashes on Ghost. Wow. Cast. That was a really nice setup by Cast to auto that. Otherwise, Ash dies if he didn't set that up. He's on four stack R, so he's out of mana. We need Zanya so badly. We're throwing down our life for the team. <laughs> Up two drags to none. Me and Gwen have the same KP, but she's got the kills. Guess what? Green jungle item, no tenacity. So good luck with that, buddy. I think uh, people still haven't adapted. They either don't know about the new changes or they haven't internalized them. To realize how oppressed they are as a jungler. And, uh... <laughs> Basically, I think a lot of people are going to take green jungle item without actually building Merc Treads because they think they have tenacity subconsciously. Because you went Lucids, it's like, bro, you're against Fiddlesticks, you have no tenacity, you got, you have to get Merc Treads. Merc Treads is a jungler, it's the only way. We'll camp this turret. Wait. Oh, looks like they warded it. 
Got a fear, got a silence, got a W smite. We'll take it. No clue why Cast was moving the way he was. Big drain onto them. It was a double fear because they didn't have vision on me. If you hit an, any enemy with an ability when you're outside of their vision, it'll fear them. As long as you haven't feared them within the last five seconds. I don't know what the exact second mark is. But uh, it just says recently feared. I'm just going to say five seconds because that's what it feels like. And that's why I double feared them with my drain because I was out of vision. And they got wrecked by it. You just can't play Fiddle if your team's heavy AP. If you only have one AD champ on your game, you shouldn't play Fiddlesticks because he's only magic damage. You can't build physical damage items. It doesn't work. Nasus, that build is poop. Doo doo feces. It's it's pure armor, really. Mm. All right, whatever. We get this Herald. Whoa, what is this fight? Rocket Belt into this. Fear, EW. You can't play Gwen when the enemy team has too much CC. You should realize on autoing the hill. My silence missed. Flash, fear, W. I think he just flashes well. I'm not going to burn R to chase. Chasing cast is not usually a good idea. We got an R onto her. Fear, E, walk her down, W. Beautiful Tarek stun. Just didn't go off in time. Oh, bro. Nyla is DCing at actually the worst times. She's going to get us both killed. Heck, she's going to die now because of it. <sighs> Out of all the people the shutdown could have gone to, it had to go to Cass. Seriously. <laughs> That's what happens when you play on Motel Internet. Maybe he's playing on his phone Wi-Fi. I've tried to play on my phone Wi-Fi before, and it was terrible. I don't have a very good uh, top-of-the-line provider, though. Mine's kind of cut rate. They give you the scraps from the main providers. Which is fine for most things, but for gaming, you need a constant stream of low ping stability. Oh, this is bad. Got the fear on him. Run, you fool! My R is on a cooldown. I'm not level 16 yet. But I'll shave it down to 52 second cooldown from the 72. Drag is coming up here in a second. I can get Zons. Wait for me, please. I have Zons. We can't step up for vision. I'm basing. We'll grab Zons. We'll grab. Oh, control. No, Nyla's still AFK. We have AFK. No. She's not back yet. We probably need to give Drag. Drag's our win con, too. She's so fed as well, man. There we go. Man, we need to end this game quick. Because that's the second time she's DC'd. She doesn't even seem to be back in the game either. I have no vision. There we go. He actually had vision of me somehow. He cued me. His Q canceled my R channel. The, we have a control word in Bush. I don't know how he queued me. That's great. It is what it is. But yeah, I was going to R over. Corn flip the smite. It would have been worth. Because <sighs> I have a tiny shutdown anyways. It's hard for me to step up. Cast is a great counter to fiddle in the mid late game. Cancels my drain, cancels my initial R channel. Gotta be patient, let him come to us. Fiddle's a counter puncher in the mid late game. Early game, he's an aggressive ganker, but at this point, the enemies need to make the first move, and then you wanna be in the right spot to R into them. Like what I'm about to do. I should have done it long ago. Oh, come on. That Ash Hawk shot. Lame.
Hmm, that was still not that. It says she's in the game. It was giving her a surrender vote option. We're going to drop R, rocket belt, Q. E, oh, okay, we're not going to fight it on big fiddle R. I don't know. That's just unbelievable, dude. I have such a free game, free win, and you just have someone's internet go out. Is she back in the game or not? Okay, she's back. We can win then. That's so frustrating though. We've lost our shutdowns. We've lost map control, turrets, dragon. It happens, man. It happens. What do we need? We need hill cut. Nasus hill. Gwen hill. Cast kind of hill. Incredible. The cast is so fed now. He gets shut down and he gets to build his mesh for absolutely free. Why not? I feel like League should uh, kind of have what I think it was Smite had it to where if you had a teammate DC, you got extra stats. That'd be nice in League. That way you kind of have a chance in a 4v5 in a close game. Nice little all-in from the Nyla. We could we could push this. Thanks, Olaf. Appreciate that. Not giving it. Pop R and the Q and the EW Smite. Later, my dude. That's a double drain. I have heal cut on these chumps as well. Fear and the EW. How are we losing this fight? Can anyone explain that to me? <sighs> Bro, we lost that fight 4v2. And I had heal cut on the Gwen as well. Wild. Not sure if Nyla DC during that, but if we're all four hitting Gwen and I have her CC'd, I don't see how it's not possible to win that fight. It's not like she's full build. Come on, man. Yon goes in. Got to flash out. Rocket belt, Q. I'm getting turbo slowed, bro. What is slowing me? This Ash is so greedy. She's so greedy. She wants to kite so badly that she's willing to sacrifice herself on that mission. That went through my effigy, bro. What? Nyla's doing Nyla stuff. We get a fear on the pike. I'm about to die, though. Cast is about to flop the wall. Silence W. Ooh, yeah, this is bad. This is bad, okay. I'll smite that. What a game, man. So many ups and downs. What a game. This should be our Draxler right now, but it's not. She's two full items. I'm two full items. We're still in a pretty good spot, I guess. Cast did end up losing, losing his mesh stacks from earlier. It's only at eight right now. I think we got to give this drag. Nyla's the core source of damage on our team. I'll be honest, this Yon's done diddly squat. He hasn't transitioned. I think he's trying to split push or something. He hasn't been able to find a whole lot of value. EW, there we go, Yon, I believe. Why did you jump back though, dude? What happened? I don't think he ran out of juice. Oh, I'm dead. Well played to me. Oh, my drain, oh! Did you see that drain, though? It must have been hitting three or four people. I wouldn't die. That's pretty good. Barely being able to Zonis there definitely saved me. That was enormous. I think we get Inhib here. Huge. Inhib's better than Baron. The whole point of Baron is so you can get Inhib. We're skipping that step. Pike, what's your deal, man? 
You don't heal very much off minions. That was a good Yon block. Potentially saved my life. Here, EW. Nice, huge. I'd rather not die, but I understand if I have to. I'm glad he won't sacrifice himself for the greater good. I'm trying to let my effigy block if she's gonna R. It looks like Olaf died as well. That's not good. But hey, we got base turret. Cass ended up selling his mesh because he lost all of his stacks. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, we produced 2,000 healing with Oblivion Orb. That's kind of wild. That is kind of freaky, dude. Because we barely just bought this item. It's so important against Gwen, though. She heals off of all everything she does that damages you. She basically heals her autos and abilities. She's super scary at this stage of the game. I need Void Staff, I think. I mean, my R does 1800 damage. Yeah, we'll just get Void Staff. That's the move here for sure. The person to focus in team fights is us. For us is probably Gwen. If I have my smile, I'll rip off her Banshee's popper with the Q E W or just R Q E Zanias. But you don't want to have to cancel your drain with your Zanias because then it'll put your drain on the full cooldown. I shouldn't have showed there. That was bad. You never want to show. Huh? I'm dead, huh? Canceled my drain. Gwen dies, I die. Not a terrible trade. They need to focus Nyla, not focus me. I'm not saying that to absolve my sins of dying there, but Nyla's the one doing the damage here. If I can waste their time on a Zanyas, and if Gwen doesn't have Zanyas. Now, if Gwen had Zanyas there, they'd probably win that fight. Because I was able to stall them, three of them for quite some time with just the way the fight was positioned. Big. Drax coming up. We don't have TP, so we should really just bring it all the way down bot lane because Drax coming up soon. Got Void Staff, cool. My biggest mistake in that fight was showing. I should have never showed near those minions. You always, 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 if you have the option, stay out of vision. Of people in team fights or before a team fight stay out of vision don't show near the minions or a ward or near the enemy turret don't show you don't want them to know where you are it'll slow the enemies down from engaging and when they engage because they're bored then you can pick them off super hard come in and cream them someone has their nasus has his thing on me is he high he put that on me. I guess he's got a bunch of armor. He's worried about my magic damage. It seems like a mistake, though. <sighs> seems like a huge mistake. Because this Nyla is doing all the damage. Live, Yon. Fear, EW. That was a double drain, baby. Drop the hill cut. Max range E, we land the silence. I need a fear on this turn bag. That's game, well played. That's fiddle, baby. That is fiddle. You don't have to do the most damage. You don't have to take the most damage. All you got to do is full clear gank, have some good R's, and eventually the enemies will just misposition poorly to where even if you have a randomly A DCing AD carry, you'll, you'll probably win. Rocket belt in the E, Q, R, he's dead. I'm taking turrets. I can bait the cast, pop Zanius. And we're chilling, man. That's a good game. Well played. Glad Nyla ended up coming back, fought through the bad internet. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we were one of the highest in the games. Extremely happy with that since we were almost entirely assists. And we had almost as much as Gwen. Pretty cool. Almost as much as Cass. Let's look at damage taken real quick. 
damage taken we were the most on our team awesome that doesn't even count how much damage you you avoid and soak on zanyas and for self mitigated we were middle of the pack runes high value all in all fiddlesticks easily top two jungler right now tied up with ivern him and ivern are kind of tied up in my opinion for the best junglers because you can blind pick them every game as long as your team isn't full ap you'll be good to go you can start on any camp in the game you can clear towards any side and he has arguably the best ganks or some of the best ganks in the game pre-6 and at six has probably the best gank super good 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 champ man very good for beginners even if you have no clue what you're doing you're clearing the wrong camps in the wrong order you'll always be high hp if you guys enjoyed this fiddle video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time